Oh, I'm gonna crush some dreams right now. I just heard about this on one of the Supernatural fan pages that I'm a part of. I couldn't help but not make a video about this. There is once again a fan petition for something about Supernatural. Because those have all worked so well. You know, the one to bring back Wayward Sisters. Or that incredibly despicable one to keep the show going after 15 seasons. For those of you who signed it, you gotta be ashamed of yourselves a little bit. But this petition specifically is about keeping the bunker set maintained. not tearing it down, which they will be doing at the end of April, because that's what happens with every single television show that happens in Vancouver. I saw them tear down a multi-million dollar set at the end of Man in the High Castle. The bunker ain't got shit on this. Is it sad? Yeah, I guess. Is it incredibly wasteful? Oh, you bet. The film industry is one of the most wasteful industries in the entire industry. But it still isn't gonna stop this. But before I read the whole thing, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm just just gonna take a guess, but I bet you there is something along the lines of we the fans who have watched this show for this long deserve something like this to be kept in intact. I imagine there's gonna be something that fucking selfishly petty in this. But let, let's see. Hashtag save the bunker. Saving Supernatural centerpiece set. On March 1st, Misha Collins tweeted about giving the G-I-S-H-ers I don't know what that is. The opportunity to see the Supernatural set before the sets are dismantled forever. It's standard practice for sets to be destroyed and set components auctioned off after a series end. But most of us within the Supernatural f uh, family were unaware of this practice prior to Misha's tweet. That's how the film industry works, people. As a fandom, we have shown that we are willing to invest our time and money into the show. You watched a fucking show from a couch. We are hoping that there is a way for us to partner with Warner Brothers and the show's production staff and crew to preserve the most iconic part of the Supernatural sets. The Bunker has been part of this genre redefining television series for just under half of its 15 year run. The lesser half, if I were to say so. The attention to detail is astounding. From the Art Deco inspired motifs to the warding sigils built into the freezes, it is a piece of art itself, but it has emotional heart Oh, I'm not gonna... Oh, no. Here's the thing. Do any of you have something between 70 to $100,000 that you can give every month to this to keep this going? Vancouver Studio Space is incredibly sought after here. It is incredibly expensive as well. And after a show leaves and dismantles everything, something goes in almost instantaneously with every single major studio in Vancouver. As I said before, they were tearing down two two multi-million dollar sets for Man in the High Castle, a show that has a hell of a lot more money than Supernatural does, because there was something coming in immediately afterwards. That's how the industry works. Apparently, I have heard that there is someone who's been trying to get some of these set pieces and some of the interesting parts of Supernatural, just from the sets and kind of just the, the props and whatnot, and put them into a kind of like a fan museum somewhere in Kansas. What they'll also probably do, which is what they do with every single show that ends out here, is they'll probably do a costume, a prop, a set deck, sale, where they put everything out and they kind of put it at a discount and you can go and buy it. What they really should do, instead of having that money going back into Warner Brothers, taking those really key set pieces, those props, everything that's been such a key mark to the show, taking them to the Supernatural shows and having them be auctioned off for charity. The items go to the fans and the money goes to a good cause. Y'all are not going to fly out to Vancouver to see a museum once. There's no money for them to keep it going, and there's absolutely no way that you would be willing to... Actually, hang on. Show me flights from Texas to Vancouver. Okay, the cheapest one here is 156 bucks. That's actually not that bad. I'm actually surprised at how good that is. And also, the Supernatural shows are incredibly expensive. I don't know how you guys are willing to pay that much money to go and get photos with those guys. It's insane. I'm not gonna sign this petition because it's crazy stupid. Y'all can go and sign it. It's not gonna happen because how many times has change.org actually ever done anything? Never. But that idea of doing the charity auction thing actually makes a lot of sense, as well as the museum guy, which I'm not entirely sure if that's an actual story, but if that is, that's also a cool idea. There's no way they're going to keep a studio space just for your fandom. It's, it, that's, it's just asinine, but hopefully this museum or this charity auction idea might actually come to fruition. Maybe it might. We'll see. But anyways, that's all from me, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. I wonder how those other ones are doing. How is the Wayward Sisters one doing? I'm not even going to look at the season 16 one because that one's just despicable. Just despicable. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. See you guys next time.